Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another ClickFunnels quick tip. And today we're going to take a look at how to add in a conditional split path. This is a very powerful tool. And so we're just going to come in here. As you saw, I just clicked on one of those little gray dots, which is known as a node. And it turns into a plus sign, as you can see right there. And I was able then to open up and put in that uh, conditional split path. Now, as you saw in other videos, uh, the simplest way to do this is to uh, click on your plus sign right here. If we want to add a page in there. Because what we're going to say is if they meet these conditions, go to a certain page. If they don't meet the conditions in the conditional split path, then, or split test, whatever it's called, um, I think it is path, split path, yes, uh, then it will, um, the no will bring them to this side here, the yes will meet, bring them to this side. So if they meet the condition, they go to the left hand side. If they don't meet the condition, they're going to go to the right hand side. Now, what we can also do in order to get a page in here is, on any page, you can come in here and you can see here it's got, as I hover over it, it's got six dots over there to the left hand side. And so let's just grab a hold of this and let's pull it down. And we should be able to just come down here. You see now it turns blue. And you also saw as I started to pull on it, it uh, didn't want to like want to move right away. It took until I got like way down here before it really showed like it was moving. So just be aware of that. As you're doing this, we come down here as it turns blue. We can just drop it there and it gets a little wonky there at first and the and this the lines are all over the page but it straightens itself out in a couple of seconds and now we have our two pages that we're going to split up against so now what we can do is we can come in here and we can set our conditions. And like I said, this thing is super powerful. So you can name it anything you want right there. And then you can come in and you can just say, um, let's come down here. Let's find somewhere. Okay. So it owns a product. So you can say, okay, do they own a certain product that I already sold to them? And you say, yes. Okay. So we're going to go here. They own that product already. Okay. Well, that's great. So the, the owns a product is this, um, whatever this, this, this order bump here. But what you can also do is, okay, so it's is, is not, is one of, is not of. So let's say is one of. So now what it does is it allows me to add in more products. So you can just say here, does this person, oops, that's not what I wanted to do because I had uh, owns product. There we go. We'll come back here. So owns product. We had this bump in there. And then uh, let me start all over again. Here is one of. And then let me see here. Okay, I just got to click on the bottom part. And then we put in the second one. And we can uh, even put in a third one. So what we're saying is if they own any one of these three products, then do something. And you got other things in here. Um, let me see here. Unsubscribe. That probably won't be one where it's got a drop down. Purchase a product variant. So we got uh, different variants in here. And again, this will change out over here depending on what it is. I saw uh, some but uh, that only had two options this one has four options is not one of so only show them this if they own a variant that is not one of the ones you're going to put in here so then again we can do multiple ones here so it's going to be if they own a variant that is not Voomly Cloud or Voomly Light then we want them to see this page. That's how this is going to work. And then you can also add in and conditions. So we can say uh, they purchased the product variant that is these, and then their email, let's not do email address, uh, last activity on, uh, in between, not on, blah, blah. So let's just say last activity is on or before. And then you come down here and you're going to pick a date. So if they um, haven't um, accessed your stuff in 30 days, then show them this certain page if they already own those two variants, or in this case here, if they don't own those two variants. And then you can also come down here and do or conditions as well. So they owned this product and had a last activity or they something else. And so let me see here. I can't seem to quite get the or to open. That may, Oh, I see that we need a date required. So let's just uh, put in a date right there. And now we'll, let me do the or. Yeah, now it'll let me do the or, and then we can put in an or condition here as well. So like I said, very, very powerful. You can sort on all kinds of different stuff. Let me just open this back up here. We got a whole whole list of things we can sort on in here, uh, and then also... 
then you can put in multiple products, multiple anything else, last activity. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. You can just um, break this out in probably thousands and thousands of different ways on how you can decide whether somebody meets the criteria or not and whether they should go to the right as a yes or a no on the left-hand side. So that is it. If you got any questions, just let me know.